in April 1914, the York and the Admiral Hipper have accosted another Soviet mixed task force, this time consisting of two destroyers, a heavy cruiser of, uh, from uh, for Swedish origin and a Swedish battleship, the uh, Constanza Herreria. It uh, looks like a Spanish battleship, so the two heavy cruisers are going to have their work cut out for themselves here. We do have uh, an old uh, an old S-138 class destroyer, but we also have uh, three of the X-class destroyers with us, which have a relatively good gun, gun armament. So hopefully uh, these destroyers can, uh, can make some difference as well. Again, remnants of the Soviet and their subsidiary fleets. However, we also are seeing a French destroyer now operating in the Baltic, so there might be more that we need to deal with. Anyway, for now we'll see how the York and the Admiral Hipper can do against a Swedish battleship. The enemy battleship has been spotted on the horizon and uh, she seems to be sporting some relatively large main guns. So uh, definitely have to be keeping our distance with the heavy cruisers because they are not having the armor to withstand that f a firepower of that magnitude. Which means we're going to get the destroyers to see if they can do something. I've got uh, the uh, X-36 and the V-13 here. We're going to get them up to flank speed and uh, we're going to go in for a run. And we're also going to get the second destroyer group coming in on the other side. While the uh, York and Hippa are probably going to keep their distance for now. And see if they can make something happen from the long range with their 254mm guns. But we'll leave that one up to the destroyers. Now there is going to be an enemy screen. Yep, there it is. But uh, these destroyers are not bad in their in their job. So hopefully, hopefully we can manage to uh, to uh, to land an intercept here. The second group has two X-class destroyers, so they are going to be a bit faster. But we're also going to get them all uh, up to flank speed. And we'll see how the York and the Hippa are going to ha going to hold up for now. What do we have here? That is... Um, not sure that... It's, it is some form of cruiser. It's a very weird design. Was there a heavy... There could have been a heavy cruiser as well. So we do have to be a little careful here. But uh, let's get... Let's get the... Uh, the let's get the two... Let's, our two cruisers are targeting that enemy ship over there. While we're getting the destroyer lines to come in for a potential torpedo run. So let's start targeting already. Start targeting that battleship already, if that is the battleship. <laughs> but I'm assuming it should be. It looks like it's got the biggest guns around here. So uh, we are starting to take fire. So I'm going to lay smoke now and see if we can get close enough for, for a torpedo run while the heavy cruisers are going to target uh, this ship over there and the second destroyer group is coming in as well first destroyer group targeting that ship over there and on an intercept course haven't really landed any hits so far and what does the solution look like one percent from the york not great yet uh, give a turn out a little bit more so we can get the rear turrets on target that would be great this group is still rushing in they can also start already targeting that ship and this group is moving ahead but they do have to be careful because if that's yeah that's that battleship is going to have big guns on target and uh, we're running straight we're sort of running straight at them so we may have to may have to get a little closer to get the torpedoes away but uh, it's obviously a very very dangerous and we're getting crossfire from the from the heavy cruiser on the other side it's a very dangerous proposition we're still five kilometers away and the battleship is turning out so we're still not close enough for a torpedo run i'm gonna i'm gonna detach this division here because that means the x36 can actually get up to flank speed with 33 knots and the somewhat older and slower v13 is lagging a little bit behind the 
and the York is starting to get into range slowly. Where is that cruiser going this direction? And the destroyers need to... Oh, and we've scored the first hit. Uh, 250 more, 250 millimeter main bed partial pen. And I do need to worry about my destroyers here now. So there might there might actually even be enemy torpedoes in the water. So we do have to be a little careful. Unfortunately, the battleship is turning away. I think uh, we might not be able to catch that thing. She looks a lot faster, uh, a lot faster than than assumed. So I'm I might just uh, yep there come the torpedoes. I might just launch the torpedoes at the uh, well we can't spot the enemy destroyer, but I might have to we might have to turn away here. So let's get let's get both to launch their to their respective torpedoes, and then I will again form a battle line. X thirty six should be able to launch at something if possible. The battleship I think is too far away for a torpedo launch, but uh, let's see if we can do something about the enemy destroyer. Uh, no, no, we've we've actually sent torpedoes away. So X-36 has sent torpedoes away, in which case we are just going to disengage from here for now and uh, focus fire on that lone cruiser over there. As V-13 sent, yeah, V-13 sent her torpedoes as well, so um, fire at the, at the cruiser. Whereas the second group is coming in of destroyers and York and, Sean uh, York and Hipper are closing in as well. But uh, these guys are doing a good job of uh, of keeping the distance. We'll see if we're landing any torpedo hits into that group over there. There's a couple of destroyers there as well. Second line. Um, don't fire until you see the white in their eyes. That cruiser is a bit isolated. So we'll see if we can draw the second group towards us. I don't think our torpedoes are going to hit anything unless that battleship there is sailing straight into it into them but i think she's going to be too fast for that maybe this this uh, this torpedo here might be able to hit her well, we'll see uh, nothing else so far I, mean, uh, I think i think she's i think she's too fast that she's going to outrun that torpedo unfortunately e yeah that's not that's never going to hit Okay, which means we are now getting into the final run-up on that cruiser over there. And we are starting to take fire, so we're going to lay smoke now. I'm not sure that she might have torpedoes as well, but uh, we'll get ready for a torpedo drop. Don't want to get too close, such because <laughs> these things have a lot of secondaries, but um, this is the Archimede. Uh, heavy cruiser. Yep, there come the torpedoes, so avoid th avoid those. And then uh, launch when ready. Well, let's get into let's get into a let's get into a ar an arc from which we can launch our torpedoes, and then uh, and turn and get the heck out of there. Second destroyer group is going to need to turn around while they're reloading their torpedoes. Uh, York and Hippo haven't had much impact on the battle so far. So let's get the first group underway here. Let's make sure you turn and send the torpedoes. Yep, torpedoes underway. So hard turn away and get uh, open up the distance to that cruiser. There's incoming fire, I think, from the battleship on the other side as well, trying to to save the cruiser here. But yeah, torpedoes are in the water, and we'll get the destroyers to uh, to open up. We have managed a partial pen on the main belt from one of our big bigger guns, but uh, so far the enemy the enemy battle group is keeping their distance again. And I think the cruiser is of, is going to dodge the torpedoes. Yeah, the cruiser is dodging the torpedoes uh, without too much problems. So, and has counter launched again. But I th uh, so we'll, we'll have to keep our keep our turn here, just to to we'll do a full turn just to avoid those torpedoes, and uh, slight turn here to avoid that torpedo from the York. 
this this destroyer group is coming back in they are reloading their torpedoes for now but uh, i think i'll save those potentially for the battleship i might at this point get the destroyers to start uh, targeting the uh carding the constanza over there uh let's yep lots of torpedoes coming in but uh, i don't think these will hit anything and yeah i think one of them has been destroyed by gunfire so heavy cruisers on the way and we'll see if we can we'll see if we can get a solution onto that onto that enemy heavy cruiser should be pretty even evenly matched in terms of speed so ow oops x39 is going to is taking taking a couple of hits here uh heavy cruiser is still targeting them so give, give them a bit give them a wide berth and we'll get the other destroyers to start start chasing after that battleship over there and the same with these let's start chasing the battleship fortunately the armor plating on the x uh on the x class has held so far so let's get the 254s on target we've got a 10 percent hit chance and as, as we get closer this should improve and uh, make make yourself scarce and get uh, get ready to engage that battleship so no no big hits just yet but i think we are yeah, we, we're under five kilometer now from the archimede so we'll see we'll see if we can manage to land a couple of hits here uh, solution is getting better and uh just have to be careful that thing seems to be packing a lot of torpedoes and york and hipper do not have torpedoes of their own they're pure gun cruisers just because they didn't have the displacement to fit any in but uh, they do have rather big guns i think they severely outgun that uh, that heavy cruiser and if we can get the uh, the 105s and the 88s into into effective range that is going to be uh, that is going to be uh, good as well now the battleship is coming around uh, for for a chase so who's reloaded these guys are going to be first um so it's off the torpedoes uh we will we don't have smoke ready but um uh, we do need to get out of the way of this of this destroyer group that is running in and uh once they have the torpedoes reloaded, they can they can start unloading at the battleship. It looks like the X-36 has lost her commanding officer, so it's the XO who has to <laughs> who has to uh, has to man things. But we've got almost got smoke ready for another run up, so we will have another attempt at rushing that enemy battleship. Lots of secondaries, smoke smoke generators started, and uh, we just need to get the the other group out of the way uh, so we're not we're not actually getting getting into uh, getting into torpedo uh, getting into the path of our torpedoes here still haven't okay we're starting to to land a couple of hits from the from the from the secondaries on on that cruiser and we're starting to get the main guns on target as well so i think a slight course adjustment and again the destroyer groups are going after the battleship torpedoes almost reloaded uh, once we are how far are we away still 3.6 kilometers that is a good distance the problem is at this range uh, if we get hit by one of the big guns that's it so let's already put the torpedoes to aggressive and uh, there is a there is another destroyer so that is not without danger but uh once the torpedoes are reloaded we will immediately launch them and hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can get land a couple of torpedo hits on that battleship there because that is something i'm not so certain about with our uh, heavy cruisers if they can take that on or not so let's adjust the course just to make uh, to get the torpedo angles and we might be able to once we get the torpedoes away uh, let's do a hard turn already once we get the torpedoes away we need to get the heck out of here okay yeah, there are enemy torpedoes coming in so we need to actually turn in unfortunately that's a light cruiser to avoid the incoming light cruiser torpedoes oh that's uh no actually i think our course is not terrible torpedoes away okay just turn 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 
get out of there. Do not get, uh, do not engage, do not get any closer. Uh, ow, yep, that's the big guns. So uh, this group needs to retreat once they've launched their torpedoes. And uh, V-13 has launched their to her torpedoes as well. So this group needs to uh, retreat get out of get out of the battle and we'll see if we manage to land some torpedo hits but i think that that battleship is extremely maneuverable to the point that she can easily dodge those torpedoes second group is way too close and doesn't have smoke ready that is bad how is the uh okay the other group is still trying to deal with that heavy cruiser but uh, while i wasn't paying attention this group has gotten way too close uh, they don't have their torpedoes ready so i'm just going to get them I mean, they can fire them if they have them, but uh, uh, target the destroyer because you're not really going to do anything against the battleship with 105 millimeters, but against the destroyer we might be able to. And then uh, do another loop while you are uh, while you while you're uh, disengaging here. Yeah, with torpedoes, this battleship seems to be extremely maneuverable. Looks like we're not having the uh, the best of luck. But the enemy heavy cruiser looks a lot worse for wear, and I think uh, we've, we had probably a couple of pretty good, um, a pretty good hits with the uh, with the main guns. If I'm okay, she has launched torpedoes at the destroyers. Okay, X39 has taken a nasty hit, so uh, this group I think needs to. Yeah, the, this this battleship is a. Um, is a is a real menace that thing is not easy to to deal with I we might lose x39 here we'll detach and get her to uh get her to retreat if possible um x35 might be able to draw some fire away from her and uh see if we can still get a torpedo going but uh, x39 has lost rudder control so the <coughs> while we're finishing up the archimede uh, our heavy cruisers are going to need to start targeting the battleship and see if the 254 millimeter uh, guns are going to be effective. And yeah, X-35 can keep targeting the destroyer. Uh, X-39 needs to retreat if possible. But she is flooding quite heavily. She's got engine damage and she's lost her rudder control. So while the Archimedes is even still fighting, while the heavy cruisers are still are completely undamaged, are coming in for the kill here. Uh, I don't think she's gonna. I don't think she's gonna go go anywhere. It's almost uh, almost underwater, so I don't think she's a threat. But uh, I need these ships here to to retreat. And if the X-39 can get out of there, that would be great. I would hate to lose these brand new destroyers. So um, she has smoke ready, but uh, she is getting hammered. And even with smoke, she's taken engine damage. I think I don't think she will get out of there. Uh, X-35 has torpedoes ready. Target the battleship again. Smoke up and launch torpedoes when possible. Uh, the the cruisers are finishing off the Archimede. <laughs> she's still afloat for some some bizarre reason. And. Uh, Hopefully, hopefully soon they can finish her up, but then they will need to take on the... Uh, okay, we've got incoming torpedoes. Uh, I, don't, I think X-35 is, is safe in that regard, but we are going to get her already to turn away. Uh, do we need to worry with the cruisers here? Probably not. Uh, please finish off that, that enemy cruiser. It can't be, can't be anything left of that thing at this point. Uh, she's still fighting though. I'm going to give her that. But uh, she can't can't have any, can't can't have much fight left in her. She, there's, they're not striking the colors. That is, uh, and yeah, we've uh, we haven't lost one of the destroyers just yet. Well, maybe we can make them get out from there after all. But uh, that that cruiser needs to needs to sink before uh, before we we turn about and start engaging the battleship. We do have to wait for that torpedo to uh, to, to get away. Um, destroyer, yeah, battleship is sailing the other direction. Okay, good. So we've got the one, we've got the X-35 left, but she's reduced to gunboat duty. 
Okay, the Archimede is finally sinking. So we've got these two destroyers retreating. And we've got the X-39 trying to retreat if, if she can. She is still drawing fire from the battleship. So the heavy cruisers are now going to have to start engaging the Constanza. But at range. While uh, X-35 is going to turn around. And is going to, for now, also just uh, target the battleship. If we can get good sh some shots at the destroyers, then uh, she'll be capable of doing dealing with that as well. But uh, they're obviously trying to finish off X-39, so we'll, we'll rush in with the heavy cruisers at flank speed, and uh, hopefully we can hopefully we can land some good hits on that uh, on that battleship. But yeah, I'm curious to see how that's going to end up. X-35, get around. And I am going to start targeting the destroyer from her, to be honest, if she can manage to, if she can manage to uh, maybe get some hits onto the destroyer. Uh, there is another torpedo incoming, but I think X-39 should be safe. She is now sailing away on uh, on low engine power and with significant flooding. So let's start engaging engaging this group. And hope that we can draw the fire away from the from the X-39, <laughs> who is just in a as much as possible in a retreat. I don't want to get too close to the battleship because we uh, we do not we definitely do not have the armor to withstand that thing. But we can we can focus the secondaries on that destroyer over there while the main guns are firing at the battleship. And we'll get X-35 to sort of just sail by for now and uh, produce some long-range gun, some long-range fire. But I, I don't want to get any closer, so I think we're going to start turning away already before the battleship gets her guns, her guns around. And see that, see if we can, see if we can be, see if we can get into effective range. But uh, it's a bit far for the 254s, I think. The secondaries might have more up. Oh, there comes the incoming fire from the battleship. So we need to angle the armor in case these guys are getting into range. And uh, focus all guns now onto the battleship if you can. And we still have X-35 taking on the uh, Bersagliere. Sounds almost French. Who is smoking up. But we might be able to get some lucky hits. And I think my cruisers need to maintain their distance. The problem is they're not going to hit anything at distance. So we'll just angle in a little bit then, I guess. And see if we can uh, finish her off with this. Uh, if we can start enough fires with the secondaries that uh, it starts affecting the gun crews. We are landing shots uh, with, the, with the secondaries, but... Uh, uh, not too happy to taking on a battleship with two heavy cruisers. That might not end well. To having torpedoes away available would have been nice, but uh, this thing is very proficient in avoiding torpedoes. Whoa, that was close. We're firing high explosive, obviously, because I don't think we have the penetration. Uh, yeah, that, that thing is extremely heavily armored, so I don't think we'll have the penetration to do anything. And we obviously do have to worry about potential pot uh, torpedo threats from these destroyers as well. Uh, passing by in a broadside fight is not my idea, so let's uh, let's turn about and see if we can uh, see if we can open up the distance a little bit. The X-35 can get a little closer potentially and uh, try to finish off that destroyer over there. Now, our, our chance, or our hope, really, is to is to burn down this battleship, if possible, because I don't think the armor piercing, the 254 millimeter armor piercing, is going to be able to do anything. So we're just in here to to launch as many fires as we possibly can, especially with the 105 mils, but while at the same time avoiding the incoming main guns on that thing. Uh, what is? We have 347 millimeter mains. Yeah, these are nasty. <laughs> If, if these hit. Uh, even, the sm even the smaller guns uh, can be a problem. Uh, that's a uh, we'll, we'll take on the, the rear destroyer with the X-35 
and see if we can make get some hits in on that. She does have the gun the gun firepower to do it. Uh, the cruisers now need to start kiting away and make sure that they are maintaining uh, as much of, of an armor angle as possible to avoid getting in uh, avoid getting hit. How is it looking? Not too good. We haven't started too many fires yet, honestly. Uh, not doing too much. It's a it's an odd design. I think she's got. Does she have a twin? Yeah, it's a twin on on the forward. Yeah, the old twins. Okay. I thought that was a single. Uh, that was a single gun for for a second there. But um, yeah, let's open open up with everything that we have while. Uh, okay, you need to dodge that torpedo and then see if you can if you can manage to get some good hits in on that destroyer over there And you two need to maintain your angles and At the same time keep raking the enemy battleship. Yeah, we're starting to see some fires now Hopefully the high explosive on the mains can make something happen there, but uh, I think we actually had one more destroyer that... No, no, that's just not what I was trying to do. Um, okay, hang on. Uh, I wanted to... did not want these to be attached. So... Um, you... Retreat. You... You're in a fight here. You're not retreating anywhere. You... Um, are retreating as well. And you can actually, you are detached, right? You can actually, we'll see if we can get her back into the fight, but uh, uh, let's close all these. And that's, that destroyer is active. Yep. And the two heavy cruisers. Okay. The hipper has taken a bit of damage here. And I think the armor angle is as good as it gets. And we are landing some hits. Oh, nice. What have we done? Uh, Formwood's belt penetration. Nice. So we're starting to do a bit of damage here, but um, I do need to do need to be careful because <laughs> we are only heavy cruisers. And there are oh, okay. We've got a torpedo a torpedo detonation, I think, on that destroyer. So you are definitely keeping chase on that thing. And yes, at a close range, these gunboats are vicious. The 105s and the 88s. Uh, she is quite the danger, to, uh, quite the threat, the gunboat threat to enemy destroyers. Unfortunately, we haven't really landed any torpedoes on the battleship, which was sort of my hope that that would work. Okay, your HIPAA has taken, HIPAA has taken a, is, is flooding in the rear. I might have to detach her for now. Um, we're gonna get Hipper to turn out, and we'll see if, if York can uh, can take on the fire a little bit more. But I think we are at least not you, uh, you. I think we are completely obliterating that destroyer over here with the X-35. I should have probably reserved some torpedoes. The problem again being that uh, this battleship is such a menace. And such a such a uh, flexible ship, maneuverable ship that uh, she's really she's really not having any trouble dodging torpedoes. Okay, that destroyer is sinking. Okay, that's one down. Uh, take down the other destroyer now. The Bersagliere, and at the same time try not to get yourself killed if possible. Uh, we've got one more destroyer. We've got V13 heading back in, uh, which I had sent erroneously on retreating earlier that wasn't the intent and uh, Hippa has got the flood under control so she can turn back a little bit in and York is uh, is still unloading at the at the enemy battleship so let's get Hippa let's get Hippa back on course uh, destroyer is gonna is gonna work over that. Uh, I don't think these destroyers have any chance whatsoever uh, to deal with the X-35 gunboats. But uh, we'll see what we can do in terms of setting fires against the battleship from these. She has smoke ready if necessary. 
Because right now the battleship is, enga is engaging our heavy cruisers. So we'll keep circling her and we'll see what we can do. Okay. Uh, the cruiser, oops, battleship is starting to target us. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, sail away while we're laying smoke and trying to get out of here before we get hit by these main guns. Uh, even the secondaries are nasty enough as they are. Got uh, another destroyer coming in, but she's a little out of position, and we can we can get the uh, we can get a Hippo to follow York again. No, no. Not like that. Okay, so we've got a Hippo. This is York. So Hippo, please. Why am I getting both of these? That's weird. Okay. Anyway. Uh, we'll manage them by we'll manage them manually then. So Hipper, maintain your distance. York, get a little closer again. And a destroyer coming in. Destroyer. Uh, this one. Yeah, you need to make sure not to get hit. Uh, you still need to retreat. And you are attacking. And you still also need to retreat. Okay, now we've got it sorted. All right, heavy cruisers coming back in, circling at a distance around the battleship. Not quite an ideal, uh, ideal range for our secondaries, but um, we'll, we'll do what we can here. And at the same time, we've got the X-35 drawing fire. Uh, battleships giving chase now, so let's keep turning. We've got one more destroyer coming in at, uh, at flank speed, and I get you to target the battleship already as well. So get over there. Up, oh, we're getting torpedoed by the battleship now. That's new. So I'll just stay the course then. Uh, battleship is getting is having some fires going, but. Uh, is now giving chase on the destroyer, so we do need to turn the cruisers around. Otherwise we're getting out of effective range of that battleship. Uh, we should be clear of the torpedo. Yes, we are. So just maintain your distance and uh, just unload, unload the guns, set some fires. And eventually we might wear her down. Uh, just need to be sure not to be hit by these main guns, because if these high explosive shells are hitting then that's goodbye destroyer. So battleships distracted, which means we can get these two heavy cruisers back on course to to give chase and maybe set uh, maybe get some hits in. Yeah, we are we are doing some partial penetrations with the high explosive from the range. I don't think the armor piercing was going to do anything. Okay, torpedoes threat has passed. X35 is kiting away and we've got uh, V13 coming in. Uh, she still has torpedoes. So let's disable those and see if she can manage a torpedo run. I mean this is a very old destroyer so these torpedoes are not going to do an awful lot but uh, we'll see if we can make a torpedo run from her and just keep uh, just keep circling the battleship, keep unloading the guns and uh, try to try to get some some shots on target and try to get some fire set. Oops, I think uh, I think X-35 has just taken a high explosive shell. Yep. Uh, retreat if you can, but I don't think so. I think we've lost X-35 here. Uh, V-13 is going in for... Yeah, I don't think she's going to make it out from that one. No. The whole, but the whole rear of the ship has been blown off. Uh, I think that she's going to go down by the bow very quickly in a second here. Uh, these high explosive shells are no joke, so she must have taken a, uh, what was it, 350mm HE shell. They only need to get lucky once. Yeah, X-35's been uh, still fighting back, but nope, she's sinking due to extensive fire. So let's see if V-13 can manage to get into point-blank range and land a couple of torpedoes on this battleship. Otherwise, uh, this might be difficult to find something that can actually deal with this thing. That's her last uh, her last load of torpedoes as well. 
And she is drawing fire, so immediately smoking up. And hopefully that protects us somewhat from the incoming shell fire. Cruisers are closing. Hippa has got her danger, has got her, is out of danger, has got her, her damage under control. And uh, V13 is closing in. We will have to get into point blank range. The problem is one hit from these battleship caliber guns at close range is going to be the end of us. So uh, no matter if it's an old or a new destroyer. So brave V13 on her on her run here against the modern battleship. Okay, battleship has launched more torpedoes against V13, but I think she's safe here. Yep. I think she is safe. I don't think uh, these torpedoes are, are a danger. Do we need to adjust the course slightly and get a little closer here? Uh, we've, we've seen how maneuverable this battleship is and um, anything but uh, point blank torpedo drops are going to miss. She is turning away from us so we do again need to sort of adjust the course of the of the Hipper and the York to get a little closer. And V13 is going to go into a, into a chase here. Which is less than ideal. It's not the, it's not the ideal angle. But uh, if we don't get into... If we don't get into a kilometer, uh, she's going to just dodge the torpedoes. I don't know how much damage these torpedoes are going to do. If we can man it, make it there before bl being blown out of the water. I think if we lose V13 here and we don't do anything substantial with the torpedoes, uh, we'll probably have to have to disengage. I think the cruisers should be marginally faster than the battleship, but um, uh, maybe maybe we can make something happen here with the torpedoes. Now she is in a turn to to starboard, so I think um, this is our chance. To, to to drop the torpedoes and see if we if she can get her torpedo if she can get the torpedoes away we're gonna get a little bit closer before we're gonna turn oh there comes the salvo okay time to salvo now it's just the secondaries to deal with get the torpedoes away and then get the heck out of there <laughs> so I don't think she can swing the rudder around that quickly at this range so hard turn torpedoes away come on launch launch before they reload ow that's the secondaries okay torpedoes are away um, retreat and these should impact so let's see what, how much damage we're doing uh, one impact two torpedo impacts and she's flooding so I think that might have done some significant damage now, hopefully. Uh, the York is going to take the lead here and uh, keep unloading, keep unloading at that uh, at that battleship before she reloads her before she reloads her guns and uh, wipes out the destroyer. But we do want to get into oh oh run away V13 run away, Yulk. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so uh, can we get the can we get the heavy cruisers into the battle now against the flooding Constanza Herriera? Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. Uh, is turning and still still engaging the destroyer, so we'll try to we'll try to get uh, we'll try to get into a good position here to to deal some damage in for, especially from secondary range we can get the secondaries on target and she's still trying to kill the destroyer so the main guns are otherwise occupied uh, uh, the crew is obviously upset about the torpedo hits that she's taken and yeah the gun towers are pointing the other direction so I am actually um, I'm actually going to start switching the main guns to uh, to armor piercing because we may be close enough at this stage 
to uh, to do some to do some damage with the main guns here once they re once they've reloaded. Uh, the angle isn't perfect, but uh, we might have enough firepower to penetrate. Uh, partial pen on the casement. Okay, that was less exciting than I thought it was going to be, but we'll see. We'll see what they can do. This, uh, the high explosive is not the greatest choice, and obviously, if she can get the, the turret swung around, they're currently still pointing the other direction. And oh, they're trying to turn the ship now as well. Yeah, secondaries are opening up, but I think at this range now the heavy cruisers are going to have are going to have a chance to finish her off. So just a couple more, couple more hits, and I think she she is flooding pr quite heavily now from these torpedo hits. And York is just making a full broadside pass here. And. Uh, And the same with the hipper uh, and these things have six uh six three uh, 245 millimeter guns plus a bunch of secondaries and i think she is about to sink actually so maybe they put uh, the flooding yeah she is sinking maybe the uh, the, the protection is not the best she has launched another torpedo but the battle is over i've lost one destroyer we've got some damage on x36 but we have sunk uh, a Swedish battleship, uh, a Swedish heavy cruiser, and two destroyers for another victory in the Baltic. There are some remnants of the Soviet fleet still operation, uh, operational in the Baltic. There's still another battleship out here. And uh, I think there's another battleship and a heavy cruiser. So we will try and see if we can intercept these, this group, wherever it is that they're actually going, can't really see it because the tooltip's in the way, but uh, we will we will try to just intercept them, move the group there. We'll see if we can intercept them and uh, then hopefully the operations on land in East, against Eastern Poland are almost complete. So I think uh, on the ground, the battle is going in our favor.